Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. It is Tuesday, March 30th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I am live and I am ready to go. All right, waiting for some people to drop in. Hi, Sandra. How are you doing? Hello, Ronnie. Good to see you. Okay. Now I'm seeing everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do a sound check. Make sure everything is copacetic. Oh. We'll get everything squared away. Oh, Sandra, good, you got your shot. Ashley, hi. Eileen got a lot of happy mail. Ten. Okay. Just want to make sure everything is clear. Good to see everybody per normal. And we have got a lot going on. All right. So tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, Ruth Sanderson is going to be doing the demonstration from her books, The Fox's Journey. So be sure that you attend that. You have to join her group <coughs> unless she, <coughs> unless Morgan has finally figured out how to make the invite public. But at least if you have joined the group, you'll be able to see it without any problem. I would highly suggest that you watch it. Okay, then, anybody remember what's going on Thursday, April 1st? Who wants to tell me that? Rita from Guatemala. Como estas? Me gusto tu estas aquí. Hey, Ash. Can somebody tell me what's going on April 1st? La, da, da. Jillian is coming, that's right. Hi, Mary. Excellent. And then April 6th. What's going on April 6th? Hey, Steph, good to see you. <clears throat> Come on, somebody spit it out. Oh, April 1st is your sister's birthday. Ooh. What's going on April 6th, guys? Jeff's a cat tamer. <laughs> that's, <coughs> that's right. Jeff Haney's coming in, and we're going to finish that picture that we're working on. He is such a hoot. You don't want to miss that. I will list that. I will list that event tonight. Zoom out. Zoom out. I sound like I have a cold. Eh, I'm tired actually. So this is the picture that we're working on. April 23rd is your 80th birthday. There you go.
How cool is that? April 23rd is your 59th wedding anniversary. Wow, Pearl. That's fantastic. Need things to celebrate. All right. So we're just chatting a little bit while people are falling in the door. Okay, so Jeff Haney is coming in. And he will be here April 7th. Excuse me, April 6th. I can't wait to the same guy. <laughs> Ooh, April sounds like it's pretty busy for a lot of people. That's cool. Sandra's getting her 49th anniversary. Wow. All right. That is really cool. Okay, I've got several things I want to show you guys. So let's get going. Let's get going. Oh my gosh, got married at Pearl Har on Pearl Harbor Day. Let the battle begin. Okay, so the first book I'm going to go through, this is from Ronnie. This is the second book, Native American Indians 2. So now I've got one and two. How cool is that? So 33021 from Ronnie Carter. Ronnie, thank you so much. Eighteenth wedding anniversary on the nineteenth. Cool. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm not going to do a lot of detail, but I like to show you stuff we have in our library. Now, heads up, guys. I'm putting together our affiliate list. All these books that I'm showing you are on the affiliate list. So if you guys decide to pick them up, you get excited, <clears throat> please do it through that list, and we'll get a little bit of the sales towards the group to get even more stuff. Okay. So let's take a look at this. How neat are these images? So we're talking about grayscale. This is the Life Escapes uh, book from Kimberly Hawthorne. Isn't that beautiful? Just handsome. Hello, Melba. Da, 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 da. So we've got some really good images coming up on these. I'm going to have to grab one of these and do this. Look how cool these are, guys. Hi, Melba. So again, we've got one and two now in our library. Oh, how cute is that little boy? Now, I want you to see this stuff both from an art, uh, art, uh, I'll get there, <sighs> art perspective and also from coloring perspective. This is really cool stuff, guys. Okay, I just had that one. Ooh, there we go. So we've got some really cool images.
We're going to have a lot of fun coloring this. And remember, as I said, this book is now in the affiliate list. And if you have something that you want to purchase that's not in the list, send me a message and I'll get it on there. So these are pretty cool. Some of these are photographs, some of these are painted images. I'm sure that one is painted. Lots and lots of things to play with here, guys. And I've got a lot to show you tonight. I want you to see the stuff that we've got. I love the images. I love the stuff that's going on. Lila, I think you just got to stop posting so much. Now, these images, guys, the background would be absolutely gorgeous to do in our chalks. Look at this one. Is that not gorgeous? Ah, oh, love this one. Now, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll run this through my copier and see how well it prints it out. We'll see. But on something like this, I'm inclined just to work off the original. Hello, Karen. And look at this one. Ruth Sanderson would love that one, wouldn't she? Just beautiful. So again, really cool images, guys. And I don't don't tell me you're afraid of grayscale. If you are, we'll help you through it. This is a, this would be a gorgeous piece to do as well. Da -da. And again, guys, I want you to look at these pieces as art. Okay. This is why I take the time to pop through these, just to show you. And plus, you'll have a really good reference in the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Maddie. What does good box mean? I did get a delivery today, Julie. This is the first book, and I'll show the cover in a moment. This is from Ronnie Carter. I have a feeling that Ruth Sanderson is going to be sending a big shipment of books, too. And again, guys, please, please, please go to our affiliate list now. You'll find it in announcements. And I'm, I'm constantly building it. Look at this. We get a few, a few pennies when you buy these books. And I've pledged to you guys that all that goes towards buying, um, 
uh, yeah, <clears throat> the native art is outstanding. Buying supplies. Da, da, da. So these are really nice images. So we've got book one and two now. And that would be Vicky saying hello. Yeah, Maddie, send me a text, please. I'd be glad to add World of Wonder by Basford. Okay, and I think this is the last one here. You got the Koi Watercolor watercolor 48 set today. Ooh, Julie's going to play. Okay, and then here's your color test page. And then, of course, these are all the books here, Life Escapes, that are available, which is like a ton of them. Da, da, da. Ooh, look at that one. Zoom in. I don't know if I should show you this. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, we'll just leave that one there. All right. Stephanie. <laughs> Look at these, the dog and cats ones. Yeah, and I'm going to be showing you one of Jillian's books tonight, so I should text her and tell her to get her get her butt in here. So anyway, we've got a ton here. Oh, look at this one, guys. Isn't that cool? Sleepy Time Babies. All right. Okay. And there's some colors on the back here. Hold on. I'm going to text Jillian and tell her to get in here. Oh. Let's pester her. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we'll see if we can get her in here. Oh, Melba, great. All right, so that's Native Americans too now, which we have in our library. Okay, then we have, then we have, Okay, Jillian said she's going to hop on, so I'm going to have to show, I'll show you her book next. Let's see here. I'll tell you what, I'll start this one, and then when she comes in, Melba, tell, tell Jillian the same thing you're telling me when she gets in here. So this is Victorian coloring book. Uh, 
Okay, so 3.30.21 from Eileen. Okay. Oh, there she is. Jillian, you in here? Say hello so I know that you're here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Sandra, that's cool. That's so funny. Everybody sees people come in here before I do. There she is. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one for a second. I'm not going to show you the Easter, Easter book because that's the one we're doing on the first. <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. Mercurial Mandalas. Okay. So. And again, guys, this is listed in our affiliate list if anybody is going to get it please get it through there okay illustrated by Jillian R. Wilson okay so she's got a really neat setup with this book look at this guys it's done in we've got the black with the white on there so you can play around with that and then there's this image okay So Jillian, did you intend this as a coloring page, or is this an introduction page, or what, what's 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 the idea here? So I want you to see her style because they're really cool. They're different. They almost make me like mandalas. <laughs> Uh, so Jillian, what's your intention with the black, with the white on the black here? Do, do, do. Ah, a different size to play with. Okay. So you're intending that these to be colored or can be colored as well? Oh, man, could you imagine that in metallics? How cool that would be. All right. So this is a totally different setup than what I've seen in other books. Jump in any time if you want to say something, Billion, about the any particular. Um, I I'll take a look, Lila. I've hardly been on Facebook today at all. I've been doing a lot of running around and catching up and some shopping. I really needed to get done. But look at these images, guys. Oh, and this is one of my favorite ones. Okay, so Jillian says she did the white and black for a few reasons. Marker bleed, right? Offering a fun option with gel pens. Okay. And a nice way to add the coloring notes without wrecking the back of the image. Gotcha. This one is one of my fabs.
I have never seen a mandala done this way. Let me just pull in a little bit here. Do, do, do. The thing, the thing that's different about this and that I really like is that a lot of them, yeah, the Lady Mandala is beautiful, isn't it, Melba? These all, you know, a lot of these show movement on them, and I really love that. Pretty. Now the line is, now this is a slightly thicker paper, which I really like. Oh, that's good to show how it was drawn. Okay, Jillian. The lines are also a little thicker. They're thinner here, thicker on the enlarged one. Oops, I can get, the, get that out of there. It took me a second to figure this one out, the little ice uh, strawberries and the ice cream in here. Let's do the Lady Mandala together. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to do that another day because we're going to be doing that. In, um, are you talking to me, Melba? Who are you talking to on that one? Oh, my gosh. It took me a second. The cats in here. Okay. The little peeps coming out here. Yeah. So this is giving you an idea of her style, of Jillian's style. And Stephanie, don't forget, please, go to the affiliate list, if you will. You can purchase the book through that list. It's in announcements. They're in alphabetical order. Oh, you're talking to me, Melba. Okay. Look how pretty these are, guys. Okay, so Jillian says she's going to offer both a Mercurial Mandela page and Eccentric Egg page on Thursday. As some didn't get the egg book, but the mandala book. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and this black is pretty solid. So whoever printed this, Jillian, they did a really good job. Look at this. Isn't that one neat? Cool. And don't forget now, Jillian and I have entered into a working relationship with Joel Book, which is a publisher. She is the chief cook and bottle washer <laughs> of the company. Yeah, you can take these mandalas and make <clears throat> them as simple or complex as you want. Isn't that cool? And I could even see adding stuff. You know me, right? So 
So Jillian and Joel Book is making it a point to introduce new artists, and they're coming through this group. And that's going to be tons of fun. I can't wait until we start seeing them. Oh, look at this one. Chief Cook, yeah. Oh, how cute. Oh, I'm having too many ideas right now. I could see doing these ladybugs. <clears throat> and then I've got the um, little stick on ladybugs. I could see adding those in addition. Maybe putting some. Oh, yeah. I'd go crazy with this page. So this is this is a, a really neat style, guys. I, I like it. Oh, did I say that about mandalas? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I hope you guys are seeing some ideas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, some gems. Metallics would be great on these as well. You guys see the little dragons in here? Look at that. How cool. Come to the dark side of coloring. We have patterns. <laughs> oh, now look at this one. Is that not gorgeous? Beautiful. So, Jillian, I have a question. If you do mandalas again, have you thought about making the ones on the black page bigger? <clears throat> maybe almost the size, not quite as big, maybe a little smaller because of the title, but make these bigger on the black? Correct me if I'm wrong, but has anybody ever seen a mandala book printed on black? Pretty. And I'm wondering how those Arteza pens would do on these to add additional doodads here. Pretty. Okay. Down under Mandala. Love this one. Look at that. Julian, do you want me to, do you want me to, Julian, do you want me to go through the other book as well tonight? Okay. So. Beautiful. Love this one. Black media would look good with neon colors. Yep. Well, I'll have to ask Jillian if she if she's okay with me going through the other book tonight. Look at that. Okay, I'll go through it. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> so here we go. At we have Joel's book, The Coloring Hive. The Coloring Hive is. The part, of the, comp the part of the business that does the coloring books. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bring up the page I colored. I don't know which one you did. I haven't seen it yet. Headquartered in Canada. All original content. Just like you. I love that. Questions and concerns, please contact hello at joltbook. No S. Dot com. Okay. And then here's the back. 
You get that. Alright, let me grab the other book. Oh, the first egg in the book. Okay. Yeah, oh, the alcohol markers. Oops. <laughs> okay, this is Eccentric Egg, Man egg Mandalas, also in the affiliate list. All right. Let me pull out a little bit. Sorry for the zipping. Da -da. Okay, so Jillian also did this book. Look how pretty that one is right off the bat. Cool. And here's a story here about the mandalas here. All right. Palettes and color theory. Whoop. And then they've got a page here. She's got a page where you can build your own palette with your colors. The cycle of death and life. Okay, so these now are bigger and give you more room to do the different patterns. That is really cool. Okay, so this is the one you, oh, oh, I did see it, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lila, I've been so distracted today. So now we've really got room with that black to play with coloring. Tropical transplant. And Jillian, if you have any comments about anything that I'm talking about here, hi Melissa. Hop right in. Okay, rabbit heart. Ah, two little bunnies. Really pretty. Mother of Truth, that's dramatic. Yeah, and that reversal on this one looks really cool. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Time to bloom. Oh, Maddie says she's going to get this one, too. Da, da, da. Love is the gift. And then, of course, we've got the reverse of it. Okay, so tropical transplant. Yeah, cool. You know, guys, and one of the reasons that I absolutely love having the artists in is because Blossom Queen, they can talk about, look how these look like little angels here, too. You know what this reminds me of? The Rorschach tests. <laughs> I wonder what we all see in these. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, naming paint colors growing up, yeah. I mean, look, you can also see, I mean, here's, it almost looks like hair and then eyes. Oh, and then if you look at this one, there, this one's like a necklace. Cool. 
Oh, that's hysterical what we all see. And then, of course, the opposite of it. That hair is an eel. <laughs> well, and if you guys have any comments about this, <coughs> the author's here. <laughs> La -da -da. The hair, that hair is an eel. This is the real, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, Pisces, because that's my sign. And this is what, the ram? Somebody needs to tell me which this one is here. You love creating art that is experienced so differently from each person. Yeah. Julie says she needs a new eggy book. And again, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but for anybody, Aries, thank you. That was it, Julie. Thanks. Thanks. Again, all these books are in the affiliate list in the announcements. All you have to do is just click on that link. I even put them in alphabetical order, unless I was too tired and screwed it up. This almost looks like a dancer to me. Dress. Scoop of the universe. And then, of course, there's the reverse. Okay, let me see here. Eye on the prize. A carrot folding its arms. Okay. Ice cream cone, maybe. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Spring equinox. Now that's interesting how the black and white here is included on this one. See, Jillian, you're messing with everybody's mind now. Your son named one of the crayons? Wow. I love this one, the Greg Catsby. My vote would be to do this one. Da -da. Greg Catsby. <laughs> Easter in the tropics. Wow, Jillian's here, Helen. Hi. And the flamingo's here. Oh. How cool. Mount Eternity. Good to see you, Helen. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. 
and then of course the reverse of it. So correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but have you guys seen many mandala books that have the, the reverse on it, like Jillian put on hers? Lady Spy, okay. Oh, hands. Took me a second. Fool. Eye of the Storm. Okay, so no nobody else has really seen the reverse printing done on their mandalas and well this is the egg book Mount Eternity Ukrainian those spirals are a Ukrainian symbol for eternity and the triangles are little mountains cool whoops let's see how far back that was. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy, to buy meat from work and drink water to pay for my credit card bill. <laughs> Emoji Elemental. Ooh, look at the horses. Cool. So this is the first time you guys have seen coloring books with the reverse on it for you to color. That's pretty neat. I feel like I'm going to be spoiled now seeing that. Oh, jeez. Pearls of Wisdom. Wee. Mm mm mm. Wow. Floral explosion. Yeah, I'm just thinking of colors on this one. And I'm also thinking that this would be really good. Yeah, liquid pearls. Yeah. Oh, Stacy, good. Using techniques taught here in the group. You just finished a little bit of coloring from your new book. Yeah, the metallics on this black I think would be absolutely gorgeous. I may even play with this one. We'll see while I'm uploading a video. From seed to flower. Okay, so what I would appreciate while Jillian is here is your feedback on this book. What do you guys think of this book? What do you think of the white on the black, the reverse? What do you think of the patterns? Is this different than the normal um, books that you see? So I thought that would be neat if we can give her some feedback while she's here for a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then of course we have this this end. So the book is great in patterns like no, nothing else I've seen. Okay. Fantastic book. Love the page color. 
Okay. Love the book, but the black lines on the white pages, oh, are a bit heavy. You like the reverse better. Yeah, Jillian, um, I have a question about that too as well. I do notice that the lines here are a little heavier. What was the thinking behind that? Stacy says, I love both books. Both have arrived. Yeah, they are they are thickened. Now, would you go back to thinner uh, <laughs> thinner lines on some of them? Always looking for black pages to use neons. There you go. So basically, we would say that what this is a a neutral, a thumbs up or a thumbs down book. What do you guys think? And since Jillian is here, would you encourage her to print more books in the reverse? Okay, so I'm seeing the little emojis go by. Julie says she's got to get it through our affiliates listing Julie. Okay. Lots of thumbs up. I don't know if you can see those floating by, Jillian. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Everybody says, good. Love it. Yeah. I love it. I like having both the regular and the reverse. Okay, so Jillian says she made the lines thicker on the egg book because that makes them easier to color with markers, and you got feedback on my mandala book that the lines were far too thin for markers. So I wanted to offer something for that crowd, and I figured for Easter it would be a good option to try that out. Okay. Jillian, have you thought about maybe an in-between line weight? So not quite as thick as this, but not as thin as the other book. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get into this, guys, and see how they color up. And then we can give feedback. And that's what our artists like to hear, is they love to hear that feedback. Okay, thicker for markers. Yeah, okay, well, we need to color this up and see. All right, Jillian, well, we're going to see you the first then. Bear in mind, sometimes thicker lines help us viewers <clears throat> to see better. Let me see. To understand the image, okay. Yeah, Jillian, I really think that if you go in between, I think that you'll hit hit all the the sweet spots. So the patterns are a hit. <clears throat> the line weight is, I mean, it's fine, but we're you know getting a little feedback on that. Okay, well, we'll figure out one to do for uh, when she gets here the first. I, th I think that the black, that is just so unique and it's different. I think the white on the black is fantastic. Um, it would have been nice on the mandala book to see that a little bit bigger like this. But until you do it, you just never know. So when we get this colored up, Jillian, you'll be seeing the posts. <clears throat> and what I'll encourage everybody to do is tag you as we color this stuff. You're welcome, Jillian. You're welcome. 
I'm glad you could make it. All right, Jillian, you have a great rest of the evening. I've got a couple more books to go through here. Thanks for popping in at last minute. I just wanted to tell you real quick we were doing that. Okay. So I've got now the Victorian coloring book. I bought this one for the group. Ooh, Jillian gotta love you. There you go. <laughs> oh, I told you, Jillian, you'd be coming part of this group now. So this is a Victorian grayscale, media, uh, you know, light to medium. All right, so let's look at this first one for a minute. See, Jillian, you're getting all this love thrown, thrown at you now. I told you. Good night, Jillian. Okay, and this is that first one colored. So I want you to see the fantastic options here that you have with this. And again, this is known as the lighter grayscale. Just a nice little tinge of it. So we've got the flowing dresses. Love this one. You remember the picture I did with the poofy chair and the cats? I love these curtains. Those would be fun to play with. Now, I know that I've got a couple of other Victorian books, but this one really caught my eye as well. This one is by um, um, Elena Lazavera. Beautiful, beautiful images, guys. I mean, can you imagine playing with these creases now in this gown? You've seen me do it on several pieces. And who knows, something... Remember when I did, did that bird feeder? The birds and the bird feeder? That was a Kimberly Hawthorne book. You guys seem to really like that as well. Now, again, I know we're a little heavy on going through books tonight, but <clears throat> I just had a bunch of them fall in the door today. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Light blue on the mirror. And see, this is how you do a reflection. It's a really great teaching tool. Very, that's right, Helen. Very elegant, very pretty. And if you do the grayscale like I taught you, so this has light and medium in it. There's really no dark. So you just adjust accordingly. I like these, these close-up ones. They're absolutely beautiful too as well. And I hope that when you see things like this and I page through stuff like that, it gives you some ideas. There we go. Ah, uh, look at the little pretty tat.
Now, remember I showed you those gray pens that I bought that were the different shades of gray? So, here are the pens, diff the different shades of the gray. And I got this specifically for stuff like this where I can add. So you could add like a little leaf falling. Or you just leave it as is, up to you. But I want to give you these ideas. This to me begs something right here. We've got we've got stencils now that we can use for background. And again, because I have those light gray pens. If I do it right, you wouldn't necessarily know that that's an addition. So here's a young lady, maybe what, 13, maybe 12, 13, 14. And that, yeah, a picture in an oval frame, Sandra, that would look good in that against that wall. You're right. That's the one you tossed. So what? You got this book and you tossed this picture? Mm-mm. So again, the, reasons, the reason that I go through these stuff is to show you the artwork, give you ideas. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty in just mm, satiny colors. And this is where I would lay down a color and then go over it with white. Ah, okay, Lila. So I would go over this with white and get a real soft, shiny, satiny look with that. And I'm talking white pencil. Okay, now, the neat thing about this book, in the very middle of it, she's got this bonus section. And these are ten of the finest pictures from, from Elena's other coloring books. So this one is from Amazing Coloring Book. This one is from Forever Love Coloring Book. This one is from Fantasy World. Gee, you think with the dragon there sitting by the princess or the lady there? <laughs> oh. This is from Uni Unicorns. This is from Fashion. I love this fashion coloring book. Yeah, sitting on her wing. Let me go back and take a look. And the paper is, again, slightly thicker. Yeah, that's right, sitting on her wing. And will you guys do a sound check for me real quick? So this one's from Fashion. This one is from Christmas the Prize. You can have a lot of fun with colors on this one. And she's got line art as well on this too. Christmas Surprise on this one. 
This one is just from 100 line art coloring pages. This one is from Enchanted Forest, line art coloring book. I love this one. I just think this is so cool. Do, do. Really like this one. This one again, Enchanted Forest. And I really like that she's got men in her coloring books. You know, a, a lot of the coloring books sexualize women and just show the women and stuff. <clears throat> but when you have men in there as well, that just really balances it out. Could really have fun with that hair. Okay, and this is the second set of pages, so I don't need to go through all that again. All right. So this one's from me. Zoom out. And this next one is called Wild West Cowboys and Outlaws, which I think is really cool. And again, because we've got books with men in it. And it's just refreshing to me. Ronnie, thank you again for this book. Yeah, those beads. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Daisy, Jeff like your picture? Cool. And I want to say something about that guy. Guys, tell me another group where an artist will come in and compliment you as much as our artists do you guys. I mean, obviously Jeff is complimenting other people, but you know that he has an affinity for this group. This one is going to be so cool. I love this artwork. I mean, even doing something like this, this one would take a while, but still, well worth it. Yeah, Dawn comments. Yep. And the other thing that I really like, too, is just like Gillian, she likes it when we comment <clears throat> on what they've done with the books. Wyatt Earp. And these artists, guys, they want your feedback. Yeah, I thought you'd like this one, Melba. It's, and Melba, it's on the affiliate list. So I'll go into announcements and just click on that good old link there. Look at this. And remember when I did the sky, that uh, star sky? Again, you, we, we get our chalks on this one and just to do some subtle coloring here. And I want you to see... I want you to see how these clouds are not ever pure white, that they've got the shading in it. So there's a nice little cloud lesson. And it doesn't necessarily have to be as gray as that. Have they drawn these in graphite? Um, some of them are photographs. 
Um, I don't know how the other ones were drawn. I'd have to research that and see. And again, here, I mean, look at this. We've got a gun coming up here. And that's one of these that you just got to look at it a while and just see all the little nuances that's going on. Little guy, couple guys up here shooting. The action on this. Now, if you were doing something like this, guys, I would suggest that you start on the stagecoach, do a little research on what typical colors are, and that will help you then see everything else. We've got luggage here, we've got a crate, we've got some brick here in the upper right hand corner, and this is going to help you develop everything else that you're trying to do with it. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? This one implies a, uh, a potential shootout here. Here's the sheriff. And look at the perspective on this one. Is that the cover? Yeah, there you go. That's the cover. Now, here's a little hint for you. Uh, tell me we didn't lock up. Okay. There we go. Don't forget the dripping blood. Yeah. So, if you're not sure about grayscale in a book like this, what I would do is I would get this picture here, and I would get the cover, and I would emulate the cover. And that's going to help you. Don't let Grayscale throw you. Remember Wanda, she complained about it, and now she's just doing drop-dead gorgeous pieces. And I would definitely do a Google search and see what kind of colors here. You know, you could do a nice um, oh, tan reddish vest here. The blue jeans would be fun to do. Oh, there you go. Good one for doing faces. You know, and, and Christy, you were commenting about the dripping blood on here. It's not that it would necessarily drip, but I could see maybe putting a little red, reddish stain on that shirt right there. Yes, Wanda, you did. Welcome, Wanda. We were complimenting you. If you do a search of pictures from the Old West, that's going to start giving you some idea, ideas for some color palettes. I hope you guys, that your heads are, are swimming right now with ideas. Actual picture of Jesse James. So something like this, I would go ahead and um, again do a Google search and see how this picture would have actually looked. This picture is probably on there. Modern day cowgirl. And look how it's kicking up all the dirt and stuff. Oh, just have fun with that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So even if you don't do grayscale, you're getting a really neat art lesson. That looks like it's from a movie. 
And again, you pick a starting point. You might start with the building. You might even start with the gravel and the dirt. Whatever gets you thinking about it. So that looked like Jimmy Stewart. Let's see. No, I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. And the images are very clear in here. That's another thing, too. Lots of opportunity to do some neat coloring with that. Now, again, as I was telling you, don't worry about the black areas here in your grayscale. Just incorporate that as part of your coloring, okay? All right, we all know who this guy is, especially with his name up at the top. You buy the book just for Clint Eastwood. Wouldn't that wouldn't that locomotive be fun? Now this one here, it just looks like you know we've got some vertical lines here. We can do that with our chalks. You could do the background in chalks and then do the foreground in your more um, uh, vibrant colors. There's an idea for you. Yeah, Helen, you're right. The pictures are very clear to color. Oh, I loved Bonanza. <gasps> loved Bonanza. And I really love the authentic pictures that are sprinkled throughout this book. And again, if you did a search on Annie Oakley, you'd probably come up with this very picture for ideas. Ooh, okay, that's different. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. Let me take some water here. Okay, that's different. That looks like that's from a movie scene, doesn't it? I hope you guys are enjoying even just looking at this. Look how cool that is. Right into the camera. And Wanda at one point suggested if you have a picture that's too dark for you that you can copy it and just make it a little lighter. <clears throat> I 
I'd have to look up and see what gang the Wild Bunch were. <clears throat> so for those of you that are bothered by the darkness of the grayscale, adjust it with your computer. Or not computer, your copier, Butch Cassidy. There you go. The real Butch Cassidy. There would be a good one to color for the skins. John Wayne. Yeah, and this is what Ruth was not happy with. Ruth Sanderson. Too much dynamite butch, yeah. Is Ruth felt that her nursery rhymes was a little too light. So she's going to adjust that. Oh, the Wild Bunch was Butch's gang. Thank you, Christy. Ooh, how'd you like to be staring down that? And again, when this is colored, you color it with muted backgrounds and then just emphasize this area here. What a neat art lesson we're getting. And the expressions, I mean, just beautiful stuff. And I really want you guys to stretch yourself when you're coloring. I know it's comfortable and I know it's fun. To stay with stuff that you're familiar with, but you know that I'm always trying to work you into different directions. The Lost Virgin Mine. Where's Sam Elliott? Yeah. Undertaker. <laughs> Ooh. There's a neat one. Wouldn't that be fun to color? And again, guys, you know, if you're having a problem with where to start, start on something that's straightforward, like the young lady. And work your way from there. Trust me, once you start seeing those colors on that page, you'll start rolling with the, this stuff. Love the motion on this one and the e motion. Frank James, Jesse James.
actual photograph. So this says number 1638, the Deadwood Coach, photo and copyright by uh, Craybill of 89. So for giggles and laughs, do a search, a Google search on the Deadwood Coach. Learn about it. Just fascinating. Okay. And this is a, a town that died. And then our color test page. And then all these books again in the back. So there you go. Ronnie, again, thank you so much. What a joy to go through this. Okay. And again, guys, everything is in the affiliate list. Then I pulled this one in, Christmas Stories, because I love the images that were in here. Coloring Book Cafe. Well, Ronnie, like I said, just going through that book is just so much, just so interesting. Okay, so now we're back to line art. So this one I'll be relatively prompt. And these are the little thumbnails of all the pictures that are in there. You can color them if you want as little quick projects or to give yourself ideas about what you want to do on your color schemes. The Grinch, I love it. So you'll see a bigger version of this in a minute. And then this train would be fascinating to color as well. Put a layer of gray on that and then the black. Mm. Okay. And the neat thing is, these are listed on the left. This says the gift of the Magi. Good story if you haven't read it. This is the little match girl, Hans Christian Andersen. And that gift of the Magi was by O. Henry. If I didn't say that, I don't know if I did. And this is the fir tree by Hans Christian Andersen. And this is um, Holidays on Ice, David uh, Sedaris, S-E-D-A-R-I-S. And the Snow Queen, Hans Christian Andersen. And Papa Pavlov's Special Christmas, Leo, Leo Tolstoy. Even just coloring these boots, that would be fun. Adventures of the Blue Carbuncle, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And the Elves and the Shoemaker, the Brothers Grimm. I hope these are giving you some ideas as well. 
Christmas Day in the Morning, Pearl S. Buck. And if you don't recognize that name, she's the author of The Good Earth. Hopefully you recognize that book. And The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Robert L. May. And A Kidnapped Santa Claus by L. Frank Baum. Oh, Lila, good. You could have fun really playing with the ropes and showing the shadows and really making that rich. Um, the Holy Night, Selma uh, Lagerlof. And A Christmas Time, Anton Chekhov. Anton Chekhov. And The Steadfast Tin Soldier, oh my gosh, I remember that story. Hans, Hans Christian Andersen was in love, he was in love with the ballerina. That was a sad story. The Christmas Rose, Lizzie Diaz. And The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, uh, E.T.A. Hoffman. And The Selfish Giant, Oscar Wilde. And The Christmas Cuckoo by Francis Brown. And The Other Wise Man by Henry Van Dyke. And the paper on the way, by the way, is, is pretty substantial. And The Burglar's Christmas, Willa Cather. And Twas the Night Before Christmas, Clement C. Moore. This reminds me of the mailbox I did for you guys a while back. And The Legend of the Christmas Tree, Lucy Wheelock. And How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss. And Polar Express, Chris Van Allsburg. And Letters from Father Christmas, R.R. Tolkien. And The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, Frank Baum. Love these little dollies. Christmas Tree, Robert Frost. Father Christmas, Raymond Briggs. A Letter from Santa Claus, Mark Twain. The references in here are <clears throat> Fantastic. A Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens. And a bonus page, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King. And then your color chart. So what do you guys think of that? Nice little book. Christmas stories. Okay.
And speaking of Christmas, I was p piddling around with this. So I hope you enjoyed all those books, guys. They're in our library now. And if you're going to get them, of course, check out the affiliate list. Okay. Lots of information tonight. So this is from The Night Before Christmas. I was working that way a while back. Last night I finished the little toy sack. I really enjoyed doing that. That was fun. So that's looking pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Yep, that fire was totally added by me. All right. Now, you guys know that when I'm doing a piece, I like to start with little markers. And by that I mean I may do, I'll do a portion. Let's see here. Let's go and check this here. So if you're ever, good night, Maddie. If you're ever stuck on doing something, remember, start in an area that you're familiar with. Now, if you remember, when I did the sailor suit, we added a little bit of blue. All right. So I'm going to work on Santa's suit just a little bit and start getting that cleaned up and clarified. What that's going to do is that's going to highlight the white. And if you look at pictures that Ruth Sanderson has done, you will see that snow usually has blue in it. And again, when I was as I was working on the kiss, zoom out. Zoom out. We went ahead and we put a little some blue highlights on here <clears throat> and that now suggests that the man's uniform is white. Is everybody clear with that? All right. Now when you're adding this blue in order to accentuate the white, zoom in. What I would suggest to you
is go ahead and add your blue tint. in all your areas that are uh, white. Boy, that sounds contra <laughs> contradictory, doesn't it? All right. And what I want you to see is as I'm adding that blue, again, it's intensifying the white. This is, it's just a <laughs> very, very light blue. And if anybody has any questions about that, Please, please, please speak up. And what I'm doing is I'm concentrating that blue around the edge. Zoom out. Everybody see how that's really popping now, that white? Oh, Lila, my pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed it even just from, you know, me showing you the books, just from the art of it and seeing all that stuff. Anytime I get anything in new, I like to show you. We just had a lot of books come in at once. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Oh, yeah, very happy mail. Zoom in. Now, if a little bit of your blue, zoom in. You see how I'm even pulling in a little bit of blue here? It's extra. And that's going to help us define any folds that we want to show or any creases. It's the same concept when you're doing clouds. is that you want to put in a little bit of that gray or some other contrasting color in order to in order to um, 
Uh, I'm so tired. I can't get the word. Emphasize the white. I think I was telling you guys I got my shingles. Um, you have to get two of them. And so I have to wait now a week. No, a month to get my COVID. Which is fine because CVS doesn't have COVID shots yet. And I don't know if Walmart does. I didn't even check with them. Zoom out. Good night, Katie. Okay, now everybody see here how this is looking really cool, and we've just got the white down here by the top of the boots. So that's what I wanted you to see. You know how McDonald's has Happy Meals for kids? Well, Amazon has Happy Mail for adults. You're right, Julie. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm so ticked at the USPS. Periodically, they don't give me all my deliveries. So Amazon said I'd gotten my Victorian book today and my um, Christmas book. And I called up the main post office and I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> and my carrier, unfortunately, every once in a while, delivers things to the wrong address. And you would think by now, with the volume of books that I get from both you guys and from me buying them, that they would know. And one of these days, I'm going to call Amazon and say, somebody else told me they did that. I think this was it was one of you who said, I told Amazon to... Um, just only send my stuff out UPS. And speaking of which, I was so surprised I returned that first headset and I got a label from, um, you know, Amazon and so forth. So when I went up to CVS to get my <clears throat> shingles shot, I took the package with it because that's a drop-off point, and they scanned it in and, you know, got my phone number and all that stuff. And an hour later, Amazon had issued me a refund. And I was really surprised because, for all they know, I mailed them an empty package. Now, granted, they could, you know, pull the money back out if they don't get the product, but Within an hour of me dropping it off at UPS, they gave me my refund. Zoom out. I don't know if you guys can see this, because it's been a while, but I put a little twinkle in Santa's eye, literally. Zoom in. Zoom in. Can you, there it goes. Can you guys see that? I just put a little bit of glitter in that right eye. Is that not cool? I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. That's why I wanted to emphasize it. Okay. Zoom out. Now, the question is, what do we do with the beard when we've made Santa's cuffs and all his white, you know, suit white and the whole bit? We're not going to put really blue in his beard. Is that my pet fly? I was hoping you didn't see that. I get these little teetsy tiny bugs up here once in a while.
And I'll tell you what, when I bought that headset, the company, Chinese or, yeah, Chinese company, they said if I gave them a five-star review, they would give me an $18 gift certificate. I thought, you know, <laughs> oh, what is ethical about that? Ethics rears its ugly head. <laughs> I have, I've got plants, so that's where it's from, I'm sure. I will pay you to lie. That's right. And I mean, they just sent me probably eight or nine emails. And I thought, you know, I don't want to be part of deceiving other people. Zoom in. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and tint my wreath here. And the two reasons that I tint, yeah, it sounds like exactly, Lila, that they had a lot of problems with that headset. And that's how they wanted to, to fool people. So we tint because, number one, we don't want to come in with a heavy color until we decide, good night Stacy, until we decide exactly how heavy we're going to go with our colors. Now obviously I know that on this wreath I'm going to go with the green. Oops. So I'm going to tint that, and the second reason I'm doing it is because I want to use it as a placeholder for my coloring. Sandra, good night. Stephanie, good night. So by coloring this wreath in green, it helps me see the lay of the land. So I'm just going with this lighter green, again, because I know that ultimately that wreath will be green. So just pick a light color and tint it. Zoom out. And that's going to help you see what's going on. Hey, Ash, again. It's so funny because you guys enter the room and then for some reason it says, Ashley Harding is watching. So I don't know if you're leaving and coming back. That was so funny when Jeff the other night, Jeff Haney said, I got to go pee and I'm not going to, I'm going to take my headset off. <laughs> it just struck me funny. Okay, so I've got this really neat green. Oh, you were saying, okay, Stephanie, you were saying good night to Sandra and Stacy. All right, I got gotcha. you. Okay, does everybody get, no, he didn't forget to take it off. That's what I was saying, as he said, and I'm going to take it off. 
because I'm going to the restroom because I got to go pee, <laughs> which I thought was really funny, too, because he specifically said I got to go pee. <laughs> oh, Jeff, we love you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my marker with my darker green, and I'm going to go ahead and start hitting up my shadow, you know, make some shadow in here and get some depth. Yeah, Jeff is down to earth, and what you see is what you get. Exactly. So I'll be putting up that announcement tonight about his appearance because I usually put them about a week out. Dun, 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 dun. We are family. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I've got two greens in there. And I'm going to take one more green, which is a very, very dark green. Actually, I'm just going to take another shade of it. Oh, he was, Julie. He was talking about how much fun he had doing the coloring in the group. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and in Patreon, yeah. Patreon, yeah. No wonder my ears were burning. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking a third green. Okay, now pay attention, guys. I've got three greens going on. In this wreath right and this is what's going to give you your dimension in doing stuff it's one of those you don't see it with your eyes but your brain does zoom in he's hysterical And the other thing that's so neat, when he starts up, I mean, I can just sit back and color because he's going to run with whatever he's talking about, which I love because you guys benefit from it. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little black pen, or a little bit of black is what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to emphasize a little bit of the black in here. That the artist had put in. Well, I'll tell you what, Lila, when you have an artist like him and Ruth Sanderson who will walk around their studio with their camera and show you that their stuff, that to me is absolutely priceless. Because when you can see the inner workings of, a, of an artist's mind and where their head is at, when they're doing their stuff, that is so cool. And that's why I set up my program the way that I did. Yeah, and, and Julie, the thing is, even though it's a half hour, he, he his information is so valuable. 
is it's not a half hour wasted or him going around in circles, you know. How do I organize my books? I organize them by title. Yeah, Julie, and I don't know if he's done that before, but we started to talk about that. That that's what he would do when he's in, in uh, this group as well, is show stages of stuff. Okay. So what I'm doing is on these ornaments, I think I'm going to give them a blue tint. And I'll tell you why. I don't want to go with too many different colors because I've got a lot of different colors around it. But I've got this blue ribbon here. So this is where you want to really watch your colors. Yeah, he's he Jeff uh, Haney is fun when he shows like like his puzzle stuff. Zoom in. His personality is so contagious. You know, you you want to buy from him. Yeah, it is interesting how people organize their stuff. I've got mine by color because I've got so many brands. And I can just go ahead and pull a color that I want. Okay, so I may have just said this. I am so ridiculously tired, it's not even funny. I did say this. I'm doing this <clears throat> all the one color. So I don't have too many colors coming at, at you when you're looking at this. So there's nothing unusual about a wreath that has all the same color ornament. Oh, connect the dots books. That's different. Wasn't that neat with Jillian's work about that reversal of the images? That's going to be fun to play with. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of this blue that I'm putting on the ornaments. And I'm going to pop it into the green. So we're going to get all sorts of dimension now with that wreath.
There we go. Good night, Katie. All right, now I'm going to build up a little green right here because this wreath here is a tad wider and the artist didn't really account for that. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that myself. Yeah, Jillian does have the same excitement. And did you notice that she was actually looking for constructive feedback? Zoom out. Okay. Zoom out. So Julie, how does how does he start his Patreon videos? Oh Lila, that's cool. So Julian was pleased that you had posted your picture on Joel on her Joel Book Facebook, yeah. Well, if everything goes according to Hoyle, we're going to have some really neat artists coming through this group. Okay. So let me clean up a little bit of this area. Zoom out. All right, see how that's beautifully coming together now? <clears throat> okay. So, so. Doe a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me and him, I call myself, a long, long way to run. So a needle, uh, a needle pulling thread. If I keep yawning, Eileen's fly is going to go into my mouth. Yeah, I know. I'm beat. I don't know if it's because I took that shot today, but I am just wiped out. I may... Actually, I may pop off a little bit early tonight. And you know that certainly is not... You guys are, fly, are dropping like flies. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm going to go Lila for about 15 more minutes. Okay, so remember that I, w I was talking about going ahead and tinting your areas just to get the lay of the land as to what you want to color.
So let me tint a couple areas, then I probably will. Oh, that's funny, Julie. Yeah, with Jeff. Okay, so this is going to be one of these wonky perspective things from the artist. Because we've got things angling up. It's really weird this way. Zoom in. Good night, Stephanie. Yeah, I'm just going to be on just for a little bit longer. We are all dropping like flies here. Now, this book, is this a Santori? Yes, it is. This is the Charles Santori book. And if you remember the frog where we were doing the different fairy stories and I did the frog in the pond, the perspective was off on that as well. So this mantle here is going up this way, and then we've got part of it coming down here. It's bizarre. It really is. So let me go ahead and just shade this in and then I'm going to call it an evening. Now remember this is my base color. And until I figure out what these little stripey things are, I'm going to leave those alone. And again, remember guys, zoom in. Zoom in. Maybe it's the top of the door over his head. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I change my voice when I talk to my pets, too. Vicky was so funny this evening. No, that was last night. I was, um, I got a couple cans of canned chili. But you're really not healthy for you because they're loaded with salt. But that's neither here nor there. But I was like <clears throat> super hungry. So I went ahead and I opened up two cans. And Vicky, whenever she hears anything, if she hears red wrapper rattling or a can, she is like right there. So it's not my cats. It's Vicky that does that. Oh, that's hysterical, Julie, about Jeff. So I had two cans of chili, empty cans. I gave her one, and I set the other one on the floor for her to go back and pick up because I'm, you know, out in the living room stuffing my face. Okay. We've got more wall right here, and I'm going to leave that alone for a minute, too. So all of a sudden, I'm, you know, sitting there stuffing my face, and I hear this whimpering coming from the kitchen. 
and I go in because you know you can tell when your pets sound different and Vicky's standing there by that can and she didn't touch it well oh the brass around the fireplace okay this part here all right metallic so what it is is I've always taught Vicki she's not supposed to take anything unless I say okay to her so sometimes I'll say oh boy or oh my or whatever you know and she starts to move towards whatever she wants and she was standing there she's so good is that she didn't touch that second can until I told her it was okay so that's just my little Vicky story but then of course there was that night that I put my bagel and cream cheese on my steps up to my studio figuring that she wouldn't touch it oh boy I was so wrong yeah she is well trained okay yeah I can tell right now I shouldn't be coloring because I'm so tired and that's not that's when you don't make good decisions okay so let's take a look at this zoom out zoom out yeah the bagel she couldn't she couldn't resist zoom out oh man look how cool that's starting to look so yeah I will brass that up Lila you're just gonna have to remind me tomorrow when I do that so I could see definitely using the brass metallics on that, the gold. That'll look cool. Okay, guys, if you don't mind, you know I hate to do this, but this is the lesser of two evils that I quit now instead of either repeat myself or give you bad information. But so far, we've got a really good looking piece. I've been wanting to finish this, and I want you to, wanted you or want you to see this in particular done. And if you remember, I completely ruined that fire myself. That was not there in the original. So. Well, guys, you're welcome. You're welcome, Lila. I hope that you got some good information out of it. Good night, Wanda. I hope that you enjoyed going through those books. I know it took a little bit of time, but I really wanted to show you all that artwork. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, and the more I look at these socks, I don't like, they look, they don't look, I don't like these socks the way they are right now. So I'm going to be working on that as well. But I am happy with the rest of it. The cat came out really well. And do you guys see how great Santa suit looks now with that slight blue on there? When you see it from a distance, that's when you get the really good effect. So I think that's looking pretty cool. And, but wait, there's more. I've got surprises coming up. I just got to wait for my UPS guy. Neat stuff. All right. Let me reach for something here. That was fun having Julian, and I think she enjoyed it. That's right, Lila, more stuff. All right, 
we were gifted something nice in the group and I will be showing that to you when it arrives. <laughs> I'm getting as bad as Lila. <laughs> okay guys, love you much. Have a good evening. I'm sorry I'm leaving a little bit early, but I'm not doing you a justice right now. Okay guys, this is Eileen Vick for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. Oh, wait a minute. Let me focus on the fireplace. Hold on. Let's do that. There you go. Since that's looking so cool. And there's another area I can do with my metallics because of the brass. All right, guys. Take care. Love you. See you tomorrow. And listen, don't forget, 3 p.m. tomorrow. that we're going to be watching Ruth Sanderson. You don't want to miss that. And then Thursday is Jillian. She'll be back to, to we're doing that coloring. Okay, guys, take care. See you tomorrow night, same time, same place. Bye.